Hello, hello. My friend Angel, you're here. Both of the angels are here. Nice to see you guys here. Hola, Mariana, ¿qué tal? Bienvenida. Hi, nice Peter. seeing you. Hi, hello, hello. How are you? I am doing very good. Thank you very much. How about yourself? How are you doing, Mariana? Fine. Very well. Good to hear. Good to hear. All right. Xavier, hello. Mike, how are you guys doing? Welcome. Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening sir. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, resting a lot. <laughs> okay, all right. Did it feel maybe too short or too long? No, too short. <laughs> too short. Yeah, it, it always, it always kind of feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. Welcome everybody. Let's go ahead. Let, let's go ahead and get started. I think we have, we have plenty. Alex, how you doing, sir? Saludos. Oh, that's that. That's yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's go hello. ahead. Hello, hello. Okay, we got it. We got it. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to start. So for today, guys, um, I wanted to cover the platform, uh, some messages that are popping up. Uh, y no sé si ustedes ya recibieron algún mensaje en WhatsApp. Si ya los textearon ahí de los admins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. no. Not yet. Okay. Well, they, they will come around. The thing is that uh, you guys see that the course ends on December 19 on the platform, but yeah. for us, it ends on December 10th. Yeah. However, they have been sending uh, messages that the course ends on December 9th or for you guys to try to have the platform finished by December 9th. Ahora, la razón por la cual pusieron diciembre 9, creo que tiene que ver con el enrollment for the next module. Yeah. So in, in order for us to get started with the enrollments for the next module, you have to have completed the module number two. And so they are sending messages because what they want is they want these modules to be completed as soon as possible so that we can begin the enrollment process for the next one. Yeah. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, they are asking for sex, you know, for the sections to be finished by December 9th. However, uh, they actually finish on December 10th. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So on the platform itself, as you guys can see, this one is a little bit long. Section five is a little bit long. However, most of the items, most of the lessons que nosotros vamos a estar viendo eh, yeah. tienen que ver con conversation. Conversation and a little lesson, a, a little conversation. This video is actually a little bit long. As you guys can see, I, I wasn't even able to finish it. Uh, lesson objectives. Then we kind of go back to something that we had already uh, covered, which was the gerunds uh, with the short responses. So this one is actually a pretty quick uh, lesson. And then you start off with the knowledge checks and then we go back to pronunciation. In this particular case, they work on the T sound and the D sound, T and D. And yeah. so this one, we are gonna work. Uh, hopefully we can get some, some practice, uh, practice phrases and maybe some um, specific uh, information for you to be able to use uh, like tips and tricks. And then it continues off with more vocabulary, more videos, and then the clauses. And they explain about how the clauses work and why they're there. And that's pretty much it. 
once you guys have covered section five, you go into the final exam and that's it, ladies and gentlemen, Mo module is completo. So my question to you guys is, how many of you guys have gone and have completed section five or any lessons in section five? How are I you guys doing? Me. I completed. Me, teacher. Good. Well done. Well done. Well but done. Well done. Well done, everybody. If you guys finish the final exams really, really early, please remember there is a big chance that you're going to get a blue button here that will tell you to print your certificate. Like, congratulations, this is your certificate, yeah. and you can print it out. If you, <laughs> if you don't get that blue button, don't worry. You still can get an email or a message in WhatsApp letting you know um, how to print it or where to get it from, okay? And that is for the certification, your certificate of uh, completion. Okay. Within section five, if you guys have not gotten there yet, please remember they're actually really short and the only things that are a little bit longer are the videos, but everything else is actually really quick. And so yeah. you should go through the lesson objectives real fast and you might stop for, you know, maybe two, four, I think even six minutes on the videos but that's pretty much it. So if you take, you know, a 15 minutes, do a couple of activities, you should complete the section five this week with no problem. And we could also work on the final exam in class. So that will also help out for you guys um, to ensure that the completion is, is done. Okay, because section five covers a lot of conversation, I wanted to practice with you guys some role plays. We had been doing some role plays, really short, but this one, well, these role plays that I was able to, to find, um, they really help with putting everything that we have learned together. The only, the only thing is that they have, I think that they have to do with Britain or English in Britain. So there are some words like three pounds, 50 pence, like a little P. When you guys see a little P, it's like yeah. the pence because I think that in England, they call the pennies pences. And yeah. then, so instead of saying dollars, they say three pounds, 50 pence, right? $3 and 50 cents in yeah. England is three pounds, 50 pence. All right, so, so just heads up on that. Let me go ahead and give you guys a few minutes to read through the role play. You can see right there. Yeah. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit larger. I know, I know that, I know that my buddy Angel <laughs> needs, needs this one sometimes. Let me see. Let me see. Let's make it fit. Make it a little yeah. bit smaller on the, on the edges. Okay. I think that would work. How's that? How's that, Angel? Are you able to see okay? It's great, great, great. Okay. It's about to do it all. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see. Let me see if that covers the entire area. Yeah, because the last one is cheers. All right, take yeah. a minute. Take a minute, guys, to go through this one. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put mute on here. I'm gonna drink some water.
All right. So, what are we looking for when we are talking about role plays? The practice of using the words and pronunciation of those words. Now, if you guys like, we can go really slow. We can, you know, uh, increase the speed as we're moving along. Okay. And, you know, eventually, you know, increase it to the point where we where we are really, really fluent. Uh, and I have a few of these for you, so that we can pray. We have a lot of things that we can practice. Yes. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, there there are parts, Joe, Mark. In this particular case, I think that this is the restaurant. Yeah, Mark goes to a restaurant. And so this would be a great practice for you guys if you guys were actually going into a restaurant. Yeah. And ordering and having that interaction. Order a meal, yeah. Yeah. Ordering a meal, the sodas, the you know the the fries or the chips. The chips. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Who would like to volunteer? Me, 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 me. ¿Qué significa air? Er, er. Eso es el sonido que haces when you're not sure of something. So, for example, in this one here, he says le ofrece le ofrece una una soda, y le dice no thanks. But then he changes his mind. So then it goes, it goes a little like this. He says, no, thanks. And then, uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. Mm. So es ese sonidito que haces cuando, when you change your mind. Okay. Es aquí como que cuando decimos, este, mira, que algo, eh, permítame. You could say, yeah, uh -huh. es como la, la muletilla, la muletilla de eh. Man. You could say it like that. Pero, pero, pero this one sounds a little bit more with an R, right? So er, it's like, ah, uh, okay. Right, and then you you kind of go back to the sentence. Oh, okay. All right, okay, Angel, Angel. Yeah, yeah. One Angel wants to try, and I want to be Joe. <laughs> you want to be Joe? Okay, let's do it like that. Angel, Angel, for Angel Fernandez, right? Angel Fernandez, because I have Angel Martinez. So Angel Fernandez, you are going to be Joe, my friend, and I will be Mark. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me three. Two, one, go. Okay. Who's next, please? Hi. Can I order a large cheeseburger with regular chips, please? You would like a drink? No, thanks. Uh, uh, yes, I'll have a, a large Diet Coke, I think. Okay. That's a large burger with regular chips and a large Diet Coke. You would like anything else, sir? No, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. Yes. Can I have an apple pie as well? That's fine. So that's a large cheeseburger, regular chips, a uh, large Coke, and uh, apple pie. That's right. Uh, no, I ordered a Diet Coke. Okay, sorry. That's a Diet Coke. That's four pounds, 55, uh, please. Okay, cheers. And that's fine. 55 penny change. If you wait a moment, I'll get your meal. Hang on, I gave you a 10 pound note. Did you? Uh, let me see. Yes, okay, I'm sorry about that, sir. <laughs> Just give it Mark a five pounds note. No problem. Uh, there you go, enjoy your meal. Cheers. All right, very, very British, uh, Angel, very British. <laughs> thanks, thanks, sir. <laughs> All right, uh, four pounds, 45. Okay, so. The pronunciation of some of these, right? Remember, cheeseburger is two words, Angel, but it's going to sound like one. So that okay. means that you have to put a little bit more speed. And you did it once. I think when you when you said it here, you said it with the speed. Okay. And so, so, Angel, let's try it out right after me, right? Sound it out after me. Okay. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. There we go. You got it, my man. All right, that's it. You got it. Just, just remember when you see those cheeseburger. It's even though it's two words, you have to say it a little bit faster and make it sound like it's one word. Cheeseburger. 
cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Okay. All right. You got it. All right. So only one. Yeah. Right. All right, Angel. We're gonna we're gonna swap. We're gonna swap now. Okay. Now I am going to be Joe, and you are going to be Mark. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, Angel. Okay. Who's next, please? <laughs> Any volunteers? Come on, don't worry. <laughs> no, no, Angel, you're Mark. You're Mark. Come on. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> dale, dale. Who's next, please? Hi, I can order a large cheeseburger with regular chips, please. Would you like a drink? No, thanks. Uh, yes, I'll have a large diet cold, I think. Okay, that's a large cheeseburger with regular chips, a large diet coke. Would you like anything else, sir? No, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, I can have an apple pie, please, wait. That's fine. Um, so, that's a, so that's a large cheeseburger, regular chips, a large coke, and an apple pie. That's right. Uh, no, I ordered a diet coke. Okay, sorry. That's a Diet Coke. That's four pounds, 45 pence, please. Cheers. And that's 55 pence change. If you wait a moment, I'll get your meal. And then uh, I give you a 10 pounds note. Did you? Uh, okay, let me see. Yes, okay. I'm sorry about that, sir. Oh, no problem. There you go. Enjoy your meal. Then cheers. All right. All right, Angel. All right. Okay. So keep in mind, right? These exercises, the idea is for us to just practice that conversation, that back and forth, back and forth. If I hear a word, then I'm going to come back and then go back to you and tell you, hey, this is what I heard. And the idea is for us to practice and to get better. And the more we practice and get better, then the better it will be for us. All right. So keep keep in mind that we we after reading it, we might come back and say, hey, look, let's work on these words. Okay. All right, everybody. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you very much, Angel. Thank you very much, Angel. Okay. I have a question. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> question. Uh, when they say they they get, they gave you uh, they gave them a ten pound note is mm -hmm. like ten pound bill. That is a yeah. That's a ten. It's a ten dollar bill. So no, in no, this no. in this particular case, it would be a ten pound uh, a bill. ten pound bill. Yeah, right. yeah. That's it. All we're right. The British. We, we we are the British. All right. So sorry about that one, but but I promise you that it, it will still work though. <laughs> the the oh, four pounds. The, the British is have a little. More, uh, they speak a little slowly for this reason. They do. Uh, I, think, I, I think that I understand better the British English and not the. They do. Nice they do. English. And so, for example, if they want to say cheeseburger, they don't say cheeseburger, right? They say, "Can I have some of that cheese, bug?" And, and then they say it all weird. But but you can understand. <laughs> you can understand what they say. All right. Who else would like to practice? Who would like to practice? Test. Test practice with this one. Me As you guys, Gretel. a ver, a ver, quién dijo me? Me, Gretel. Gretel, Gretel, excelente, muchísimas gracias. I, I, I say me too. Okay, Alex. <laughs> Is that Alex? Yes, sir. All right, yeah. so it's Alex and Gretel. Okay. How about oh, okay. we do one? I have one that includes a, a gentleman and a lady. Oh yeah. You guys want oh. to, Alex? Alex, you can be Jeff. And oh, okay, okay. Gretel, you can be Sophie. How about sure. that? Sure. All right, excellent. So I'm gonna mute everybody, and then you guys take yourself off of mute when it's your turn. Okay. Yeah. Let me yes, go sir. ahead and okay. do that. Let me go ahead and mute everybody so that you guys. Okay, and I'm gonna mute myself, and I'm gonna count three, two, one. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Gretel. Gretel. Ay, sorry. Gretel. <laughs> Me no, it's okay. It's okay, Gretel. <laughs> sorry. All, All right, right, then, please. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Hello. Hi. 
can I have two coffee, please, and a cup of tea? Okay. Do you want milk in all, all of them? Uh, uh, two black coffee, but a little bit of milk in the tea, cheers. No problem. There you are. Thanks a lot. Have you got any sugar? It's on the table. On the table. Thanks. That's Thanks. two pounds. That's three pounds, 50 pence, please. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, cheers. All right. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> well done. Okay. So, Gretel, esta tiene bastantes TH, mire. Thanks, va, el, el famoso TH. Para nosotros, en El Salvador, it has always, for everybody, right? For everybody that's going through English classes, this is, these uh, are examples of really hard pronunciation, uh, I, I want to say words or letters. TH has always been a problem, okay? And so, with TH sounds, you have to remember that your tongue and your teeth, right? And people, I know it's a little bit awkward at the very beginning, but, but eventually, oh my goodness, sorry about that, guys. That was here. That was me. I think that might be, that might be Quetes of the big kind. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was about to put it on mute again, just in case. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. So uh, remember, TH sound, your tongue and your teeth. So, so it should, right? The... And then when you sound it out, it should it should kind of look like this. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Right? The tongue in your teeth. Thanks. Thanks and thanks and thank you. And so the more you practice, the more you get used to it, and the less your tongue is going to stick out. I know that right now it feels a little bit awkward, but but with time it will disappear, and then you're going to be able to say thank you, and nobody will even notice that your tongue was out right thank you or thanks or you know or thanks a lot thank you very much and then you can kind of just go with that flow all right uh, well done well done guys i liked uh Gretel, i liked how you were going slow on some of these and so it's okay to go slow right don't be afraid to slow down the problem start to happen is if you start going really fast because people will tell you what did you say and you don't want that that is the worst thing that somebody can tell you especially if you guys are practicing with a sentence right uh two black coffees but a little bit of milk in the tea cheers and so cheers is used like thanks and you know and and, and stuff like that and so they use it a lot but you can also go back to using thanks. And so you could say, you know, you could say both whatever way. In Britain, you can say it that way. All right. Who else would like to try Jeff and Sophie? Me. There you go, Mariana. Okay. And a gentleman. Me. Is that Xavier? Xavier. There we go. Right on, my friend. Okay. We have Xavier. Xavier, bueno, vos sos Jeff y Mariana, you are going to be Sophie, okay? Okay. All mm -hmm. right, I'm going to mute everybody once again, and then you guys remove your mute as you guys are, are, are ready to start. Let me okay. see here. And here we go. Three, two, one. Hello. Hi. Can I have two coffees, please, and a cup of tea? Okay. Do you want me in all of them? Um, two black coffees, but a little bit of milk in the tea. Cheers. No problem. There you are. Thanks a lot. Have you got any sugar? It's on the table. Thanks. That two pounds fifty pins, please. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Well done, well done, guys. All right, you notice how she keeps saying, they, they keep saying cheers and then thanks and then thank you and then all right, I already said it, cheers, you know? <laughs> so they, they, they kind of do it that way. That's, that's the way they do it in Britain. Well done, guys. Okay, 
So accents, don't be afraid of your accent. It, 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 remember, it, it's beautiful if you have an accent because you are bilingual. Um, it, it could be that you're learning, that you already know Spanish very well and you're transitioning to English. It could be that you are learning Italian as well. It could be that you're learning French. And so in all of these languages that you're learning, you will have an accent, right? And people will be able to tell that you have an accent and that you're probably not from France, right? And that is a-okay, guys. Now, what you do want to ensure that you do is to say the words as clear as possible, right? And remember, and if, if you have to say it slow, that's okay, because we're, 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 we're in the starting phase. We're, we're in the middle of learning how to get better at this conversation thing. So for you to come and say, do you want milk in all of them is totally okay. Eventually, you're going to come to, the, to a point where you're going to sound really, really fluent and you're going to say things like, okay, do you want milk in all of them? And then people will say, oh my God, he's so fluent. Oh, native, native speaker. And, and that's the whole point. Okay, so I really like this one because it was, it, it's, it's a basic conversation. Um, this one is from a cafe, right? I have another one. This one is a little bit longer, is a little bit more intricate. It requires a little bit more of an effort because there are some complicated words here. This is a doctor mm -hmm. visit, okay? So give it a look. Take a look at it. Yeah, visiting the doctor. And then let me know if you guys want to try it out. Yeah, we can try. <laughs> Let me try to answer, really. All right, so let's do, let's do this. Alex, you volunteer first. Alex, who do you want to be? Do you want to be Dr. Collins or Tom? <clears throat> Alex, who do you want to be? Doctor or Tom? Tom, I, I want to be a Tom. Okay, so Alex mm -hmm. is gonna be Tom. Angel, Angel Fernandez, you are going to be Dr. Collins. Perfect, oh, perfect. Oh, oh, aquí, oh, aquí. Doctor. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dr. Angel. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, let me go ahead and mute everybody. Okay. <clears throat> and then you remove your mute once I complete that. So. Okay, we're all set. Alex, Angel, three, two, one. Good morning. Hello, Tom. How are you? How are you doing? I'm okay. Well, not very good, really. What can I do for you? I feel terrible. I think I, it might be high fever, but I have never had I, I never had it before. Whenever I go outside, my eyes start itching and almost feel like I'm crying. My nose hasn't stopped running for running for about a week. Do you think it is a high fever? Have you ever suffered from these symptoms before? No, I don't. I usually get it like this. It's just to stand getting bad recently. Have you got a high temperature as well? Not really, but I feel sleepy and like I have mo almost got a cold coming on. I can give you some antihistamines tablets. They'll make to be feel better a little more and yourself uh, less drowsy. Thank you. Obviously, about again the places where there's likely to be a high pollen count, gardens, parks, and so on. But do you think it's high fever? Yes, it doesn't look it like this. I'm afraid 
The antihistamines will help you a lot to take two tablets twice a day after eating. Come back and see me if things don't improve, okay? It's very ambitious, everything else uh, airling at the moment. Yes, it's just the, uh, well, it's probably the high fever that's making me feel so awful. Thanks then. Okay, all the best. Make another appointment if the tablets don't help you. Thanks a lot. Can you ask me next question? Who's waiting to come in, please? All right. All right, well done, well done, guys. See, I, intricate, a lot of words on here. So let's yeah. work on yeah. some of those words. Um, I, there was one okay. here, hey, this one, remember the age gets pronounced. It's true. Right? You, you have to, yeah, you have to say, it sounds like so so in this particular case that a is going to sound like an e so when you say it it should say hey fever hey, hey fever like oh. hey 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 veni right when you're saying hey and you, you, in this particular case hey fever hey. and the hey. e you have to sound that out hey fever all right. And the antihistamines is, is, is I don't know if you have pronunciation or. Okay, so for this one, you can say antihistamine. Antihistamine. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's okay. Anti. So this one you can say, well, you, you have to put the, you know, like the I sound. So you should yeah. sound it out like this antihistamine. Antihistamine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or there's people that will say antihistamine and they will sound it out the same way. So either way will work. Uh, okay. In this case, the H have, uh, have a sound. No yes. Can... The H in English will always sound like a, you know, so histamine. So here you have to say histamine. Antihistamine, because in Spanish, they have pronunciation the H. Right, right. And so... Remember, in English, the sound of the age exists. So you have to say antihistamine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, that's one. There was another one that I heard that we can, that we can try here. Let me see. Okay, this one here. All right. All right, yeah. All right. This one should be sharp and it should be quick. Is everything else all right at the moment? All right. De un solo. All right at the moment. Just one question. For the reason I don't understand this word, we, uh, it don't, don't, it's on the Where, where, let me see, where is it? All where right. We... Or is it, is it great? It's right, right, right. It. All right. All right. There we go. You got it. All right. So remember, take it slow, right? Because we're trying to pronounce all of these words. Okay. Is everything oh. else all right at the moment? So we're going to sound a little funny because we're actually doing every single word. <laughs> but, but that's the way that you have to sound it out because what we want to hear is I want you to sound out the words. Mm -hmm. si, no, si no hacemos eso, eventually you're going to get into the habit of mumbling words. And that is not good because people will tell you, what did you say? Even though they were able to understand you, yeah. te lo van a preguntar solo por, por chirria de ellos. Okay? We're all set with this one. Anybody else want to try it out? I want to try. Okay. Mariana, and who do you want to be, Mariana? Do you want to be Dr. Collins or Tom? Um, Dr. Collins. Dr. Collins. Anybody, anybody up for Tom? Anybody want to volunteer to do Tom? Me, me teacher. Okay, is that Mike? <laughs> All right. All right, so we have Mariana, who is going to be Dr. Collins, and we have Miguel, who is going to be Tom. Okay, once again, I'm gonna mute everybody. <clears throat> and three, two, one. Good morning, hello, Tom. How are you doing? I'm okay. Well, Nobody good, really. What can I do for you? I feel terrible. I think it might be a hay fever, but I, 
I never had, had it before. Whenever I go outside, my eyes start itching. I, I, and I almost feel like I'm crying. My nose hasn't stopped running for about a week. Do you think it is hay fever? Have you ever suffered from these symptoms before? No, I don't usually get a like this. It just started getting bad recently. Have you got a high temperature as well? Not really, but I feel sleepy and I like I almost got cold coming on. I can give you some antihistamine tablets. They'll make you feel a bit more like yourself and less drowsy. Thank you. Obviously, avoid going to places where there's likely to be a high pollen count, gardens, parks, and so on. But do you think it's a hay fever? Yes, it does look like it. I'm afraid. The, the antihistamines will help a lot. Take two tablets twice a day after eating. Come back and see me if things don't improve, okay? Is everything else all right at the moment? Yes, it's just the Well, it's probably, probably the hay fever that's making me feel so awful. Thanks, then. Okay, all the best. Make another appointment if the ta tablets don't help. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Can you ask the next patient who's waiting to comment, please? Well done, well done. Okay, all right. So with this one, remember the key, the key here is the words. It's okay for you to stop and slow it down and do each word. It's okay f for right now. That's exactly what we wanted to hear. And as you guys can see, in a normal conversation, you guys are gonna see a variety of words and rules being put together. And everything kind of kind of smashes in and all of these rules take place. But now, everything that's being said has logic and it sounds good. It has what we call sentence structure. It has that rhythm of that conversation. And so that's what you want to look for whenever you're having a conversation and whenever you're talking to somebody else. Tiene que haber esa, ese eh, give and take. La persona va a decir algo, tú le vas a contestar. Si esa persona se exalta, tú también te vas a exaltar un poquito. Si esa persona baja volumen un poco, tú también vas a bajar volumen. And then so, so it's, it's a little bit of give and take, right? And so these exercises are made so that you guys get accustomed to these types of conversations where there's information going back and forth. All right, so real quick, when we talk about a hay fever, right, what can we, what can we compare it to in Spanish based on the information that Tom provided? Yo creo que es como una alergia. Es como una alergia, sí, exactamente. Es, es una alergia que da Y eso sale por eh, el, eh, como dice aquí, el polen de las flores. Eh, usualmente cuando hay muchas flores en el campo eh, y tú sales, te va a dar una pequeña alergia y se llama hay fever. Ahora, para algunas personas es, es un, you sneeze, right? There's like a little sneeze, achoo, right? But for other people, it gets really bad. Uh, the eyes get really puffy and red. Uh, people can get like uh, bumps on their on their skin. They can get the severe itching. So it depends on how bad the hay fever hits you, or I want to say how bad your body reacts to the you know to all the pollen. So this one comes in handy porque. Is de los doctores, right? And you guys know that going to the doctors is always a little bit difficult. Um, they always have like these conversations and they give you terms that you probably never heard of before. And then it's it's just normal conversation. Okay. So well done, everybody. That one that one was really challenging. Pregunta? Oh, question here. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's, that's one kind of kind of allergy because it's, it's allergy, like somebody, if it's somebody's allergy to the powder, or is, is one kind like that? Yes, yes, sir. 
That's exactly mm -hmm. what it is. And that antihistamine se compara mm -hmm. a una pastillita. I don't know if you guys have ever drank or seen this one called, um, I think it's loratadina. No, no es loratadina. Oh my sí, God. Loratadina. Vitamina C. Loratadina. Is that, is that the, what they give? You know, and, and okay, so loratadina is un antihistamine. Yeah. Yeah, and then, so what it does is it blocks the senses. No vayan a creer que, que te cura, no te cura. Lo que oh, hace yeah. es te bloquea eh, los sensores en tu cuerpo, and then so you don't feel the itching, pero the itching is there. You just don't feel yeah. it, you know? That's what it does. Okay, ba, es que estudié medicina en la U, o sea, una, un, un, un semestre, y pues usted sabe, ¿verdad? Okay, so I, I really enjoyed this one because of, of everything that it puts together. I have this one here, okay. and this one has to do with going to the cinema. You guys remember how we brought it up? I think it was in one of our conversations. If yeah. I tell you, let's go to the cinema, where, where am I telling you to go? Let's go to the cinema, guys, as a class. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a ir a hacer? Watch a movie. <laughs> to watch a movie, right? You could say, let's go to the cinema. You could say, let's go watch a movie. You can say, let's go to the movies. And all three are accepted and you it's okay for you to say them. All right? Okay, so this one we have Terry and we have Paula. I need one volunteer to do this interaction. I will be one and then who wants to help me out? Is that Felipe? Can I be Paula? I will. Well, let's do, yeah, let's do something. Let's let me let me try with Felipe. Felipe, I think Felipe went first, and we're gonna do yes, it with Felipe. Felipe, I'm gonna talk really fast, okay? Okay. I don't want you to freak out. I want you to stay with your line, okay? Okay, Felipe, I will be Terry, and you can be Paula. No, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. So I'll be Paula, and you can be Terry. Okay. Okay. Felipe, three, two, one, go, sir. Good afternoon. You're trying to talk my cinemas. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, can you tell me what time the last waltz is on? Is it on tonight? It's being show at 4.15 p.m. Uh, 7 50 p.m. and 8 50 p.m. tonight. Are there any late shows at all? No, we only do that at the weekend on Friday and Saturday night. Um, what other films have you got on at the moment? We've got The Last Boy, Time Heroes, A House in America. And the bus driver revenge part two. What time is a house in America on? It's showing at five o'clock, eight thirty p.m. and nine fifteen p.m. Okay. How much is it for the adult ticket? My friend's got a student card. Do you accept student cards? It's five fifty euros for an adult. With a student card, it it will be forty ninety five euros. Okay, thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome. Bye. All right, Felipe, well done. So so here's the trick. Here's the trick to that, right? Who oh, is asking you. the questions? So here it is, Felipe. If somebody calls you and talks to you and they're going fast, you don't have to go as fast as they are because they need the information. Okay. And so in these particular cases, the person that's asking the questions and asking the question, they're the ones that have to slow down a little bit in order to match you. Okay? Yes, teacher. Keep that in mind when you guys are talking. Who started the conversation and who's asking the questions, right? And then you answer at your normal pace. Let them worry about it. 
Okay. I did hear, let me see here. So, so this one here, this one is, I think this is pounds or is it Euro? 550, is that a Euro or a pound? No, that's a pound. Yeah. It is a, it's a pound, right? It's a Euro yeah. or a pound? Now I'm, there's a pound, pound signal. Yeah, I think it might be the pound signal. Know. Well, you know, it's a dollar, right? It's so let's say dollars, five dollars fifty. And we have a dollar. We're American here, okay? Colones. So, so, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> five fifty and four ninety-five. That that'll work. Uh, let me see here. Uh, that was yeah. No, actually. Oh yeah, at the very beginning, Felipe. Good afternoon. You are through. Okay to Parkway Cinemas, but this one is shortened, right? So it should be good afternoon. You're through. Y este de aquí es como tirar in the past. You through. So we're going to say through. you are through to Parkway Cinemas. You are through to Parkway Cinemas. Try that, Felipe. You you are through to Parkway Cinemas. You got it. Okay, so now you have you have through. You got that. So now let's work on. Remember that it sounds like a U R. We're gonna space it out and we're gonna make it long. So it's okay if it sounds long. You are through to Parkway Cinemas. Try saying it the whole thing. You are through to Parkway Cinemas. There we go, Felipe. Thank you for that. All right, well done. And then we had Iris, and I think we had Monica. Iris, Monica? Yes. Okay. And Monica, who would you like to be? Would you like to be Terry? Yes, yes, it's okay. okay. And then we have Iris. Iris, le toca Paula. Paula, Paula, Paula. <laughs> A ver. Okay, I'm going to mute everybody once again. And then we have Monica. And we have Iris. Monica will be Terry, and Iris is going to be Paula. And that is three, two, one. Good afternoon. You're through to Parkway Cinemas. How can I help you? She's sleepy. Perdón, pensé que lo tenía. Again? Let's try yes, it again. Yes. Yeah, let's try it again. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Good afternoon. You're through to Parkway Cinemas. How can I help you? Hi. Um can you tell me what time the last was is on? Is on the tonight? It's been shown at 4.15 p.m., 7.50 p.m., and 8.50 p.m. tonight. Are there any light show at all? No, we only do that at the weekend, on Friday and Saturday nights. Mm, what other field have you got on the moment? We've got The Last Duels, Time Heroes, A House in America, and The Bus Driver's Revenge Part 2. What time is A House in America on? It's showing at 5 o'clock, 8.30 p.m. and 9.15. Okay. How much is the four adult ticket? My friend got a student card. Do you ask a student card? It's $550 for an adult. With a student card, it'd be $495. Okay, thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome. Bye. Well done, well done. Okay, and this is, this is two people, one of them asking the other one. Remember, in this case, right, When you are being asked and you notice that somebody is going a little bit slower, what you do is you can also try to match that pace if you want to, right? 
because you know you want to have that conversation going so well done for this one uh let me see i only noticed let me see let me see what you actually the the you're through the part we came out really good uh let me see oh it's it's except i think it was yeah there it is so so for this one so for this one i think i think it was iris do you accept student card so this word here you have to accept so it has a little como con e yo dije accept correcto accept right so you have to put a little bit of a, of that e that little e push do you accept student cards okay because accept would be see you would have to be using a word like acceptable but even then you would really have to push on that e back a little bit all right well these very well done everybody i like i liked it how how did you guys feel about the role plays did you guys like the role plays you guys like them yes i like them. yes it's funny <laughs> okay we're yeah. gonna we're gonna change this up a little bit because we're gonna do the role plays but i want you guys to think about your own words so what we're gonna do in, the, in in our next activity is i'm gonna have a set of questions and you're gonna have to come up with the answers on your own okay, okay and then th that way I want you guys to think of different words that you guys can use and see if we can put that together and then start that conversation from that point. Now, I have a few more of these. So if we have time, I think we're going to do both. We can do both. We can do the regular role plays and then we can switch over to just kind of like a question thing, right? Almost like a job interview. Okay, el teacher me va a dar trabajo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, Real quick, I wanted to touch up on our environment. And I wanted to ask you guys some questions. Well, actually, it's more like an, uh, like an open forum. Do you guys, in Section 5, have you ran into any problems or anything that you guys might want to review? Yes. yes. And the first, first quiz. The first quiz, has, yeah. is that 5.4? The first night, yeah. Yeah, Actually. me too. Let's go ahead, let's bring that up. First knowledge check, knowledge check 5.4. And you guys tell me if this is the one. Olvida, ya lo, ya lo dijo alguien más. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Monica, todo bien, todo bien. She's crazy. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yo iba a decir que he tenido problemas con el mismo item. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So this one, this one, I've I started working on this one today. So you guys are lucky. Okay. Okay. So this one it starts off like this. Read the following phrases and use what is in the bracket in order to make the statement. And it says, follow the example, I enjoy. And then they give you with, time, spend, friends, my. And then so you have to change it up to, I enjoy spending time with my friends. Mm -hmm. And then we have the instructions, which is, lea las siguientes frases. And then they give it to you guys in Spanish. And then this is how it starts off. So then it says, number one, I don't like. And then it says, buy commute and bus. So there's another thing here that you have to convert some of these words like commuting yeah, to yeah, a gerund. A gerund, yeah. Mm -hmm. So here it starts off with I don't, right? Don't like commute turns into commuting by bus. By bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. I spend one half in this case all right okay okay well that's good angel good good work that's what i like hard work is never easy no 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 i easy. am i am not very good at para, verdad? so then it gives you foreign languages and learn and so here 
we have to convert learning. Well, I'm sorry. We have to convert learn. Well, there is learning. Mm -hmm. I am not very good at learning foreign languages. And then that stays the same. And then we have the little dot. All right. The next one, number three. Because I say, I think that was but right because I think it was good, but it's God. I'm God. <laughs> I am God at. Okay. I think that's why I came. Yeah. So I started working on this one. And this one comes out as I am good at solving other people's problems but i have it i have it wrong i am good at this way i'm god i'm god god. i am god let me try god oh god ya senti el relámpago aquí (laughs) no a ver a ver aquí está (laughs) i am good so we have the format correct i am good at it has to be solving other people's problems. Could it be that this is wrong because of the way it's spelled? No, it's, it, this is a cool. This is great. This is good. Let's, see, let's try it like that. No, it's so. It's still so. so so the format we have, oh, it's the short way. Oh man, I'm good. It's the contraction, guys. I'm good at solving it's not good. It's God. other people's problems. Is it God? Let's try it like this. Let's see. If not, we're gonna try God one more time. Oh, it's God. the problem with contraction. It's a okay. I'm, I'm God at solving the other people's problem. No, I keep putting God, Angel. It doesn't nice. work. Yeah, putting God, really. I am, that's the way it should be, right? I'm good at solving other people's problems. Look that word, people's. People's, it's yeah. Wrong. So you th- maybe that's wrong? No, no. Pe- peoples, people. <laughs> peoples. Oh, my God. You know what? I think that might be a problem with... Uh, the el apostrophe adonde and peoples. People, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. You know, I'm almost 100 percent sure that this is the way it is. I'll tell you what. Let's let's sign up. Uh let's stay tuned to the WhatsApp. I think that this has this is a problem with the platform. Yeah, I have the problem. Yeah, okay. Let me go ahead and get that, or else we're going to get in trouble, man, and then they're going to blame us. Okay, so 5.4, keep 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 your eyes on the WhatsApp, and I'll send you guys the update on this one, okay? All right. Okay. All right, and then tomorrow we'll look yeah, it up again. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, guys, awesome today. Well done, everybody. Remember, the only way that you're going to get better is if you practice, practicing these words. If you talk to yourself, nobody will tell you, hey, you're not saying it right. (laughs) And then all your life, you're going to keep saying the words the wrong way. So Mm -hmm. practice. Now is the time. Let's practice. Let's practice. We're all family here, right? All right, everybody. Fantastic having you guys. Have a beautiful night. See you guys tomorrow. Nice, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Good night, night, everybody. Good night.